Hey folks, Jonathan here. Uh, Monday morning. Haven't got much done. I'm uh, waiting on, uh, well, I was waiting on steel place to open because I've got to run and get a piece of one or uh, two by four, uh, three sixteenths wall. I wanted to go with three sixteenths instead of eight. I know it's a little heavy, but I don't mind it. Uh, you're looking about a hundred bucks for a stick of that. Eighth inch you can get a little cheaper, but uh, you know, steel usually is by weight. So anyway, so I'm waiting on some parts. I ordered a I went in and ordered a new spring, some shackles, some heim joints. We're gonna make the uh, bat wings ourselves, we're gonna make the hairpins or radius rods, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we're gonna make them. And I think today what we're planning to do is get this steel and then we're going to try to get it on and get the step up in it, the back, and we're going to go a little extra long with the frame. You know, instead of, I'm not going to, in other words, what I'm saying is I'm not going to stop it in the center of the bed, which is where the rear end would be. We're going to bring it on back a little bit and we're going to end up running this spring setup, which is the, uh, the one that we had picked up. And we'll run a just a transverse leaf across the back, and then we'll build a set of radius rods for that because I bought heim joints for that and stuff too. So that will make it adjustable. So we can adjust our pinion angle, just like we adjust our caster in the front. We can adjust the pinion angle in the back uh, by the radius rods, and we'll get our length today, and hopefully have our frame partially welded in, and then we can start boxing on the front section. Once I get it cut where I want and start welding the other end, I'll probably bring the sandblaster out here and sandblast the front section of the frame and make it a lot easier to weld. I won't have to do so much, you know, cleaning up on it with a, uh, you know, a flapper disc or whatever. So anyway, that's the plan. We're going to do some frame work today. Uh, the steel place is working sort of like a carry out. I called, told them what I wanted, uh, paid for it over the phone and I call them right before I get there and when I pull up they don't you know I don't even get out they come out hand you the paperwork and load you up and I guess you move away from there and then tie down and get out of there so that's the way it's going to work we're going to get the steel either way so we'll, let's uh get it and we'll get at it when we get back okay got my steel there it is 20 foot two before three sixteenths wall 137 pounds total weight and I'm not sure what it would have been if it was 8 inch but we'll check later and find out uh, believe it or not this short area right here is where the engine is going to come to can't believe it's that long but anyway 37 inches from the front of the fan to the back of the engine that's it and then the body's going to start here the back of the body goes all the way to here and then going to kick up and then we're going to have the uh, the flat for the bed which is going to be over two foot you figure two foot for the to get to the center of the wheelbase and then uh, four foot if we could decide to go all the way back we'll go part of the way anyway so uh, I guess what we're going to do first uh, somewhere we're going to cut this frame and then we're going to clean it out clean it up and we're going to fit that four inch We'll start that four inch where this thing starts to to cut down smaller okay which is somewhere about right here and then this will all be boxed really well cross member will get welded in like it's permanent because it's going to be permanent and the boxing will go all the way around the cross member so everything will be welded up complete all the holes welded up ground and then uh, we'll transition into our four inch or two before now this is four total, so I'm probably going to have to cut the top lip or the bottom lip off and let this frame go part of the way down it. So we'll figure that out as we go. But I think the first thing we're going to do is clean this up, cut it off, and then decide how far, I guess from where it starts, all the way back to where it kicks up. And we'll get us two pieces cut for that and then uh, we'll work from there. I think because we're not going up real far, we're just going to come up and straight up and straight back. We're not going to angle it. And the back of the cab will fit right up, you know, close to, to where that kicks up at. It should work out just fine. All right. 
Let's get at it. Look at it, folks. Here's what we've got. Frame's all cleaned up. And I bolted or put in a piece of threaded rod. And I've got nuts on both sides, inside and outside. That way, if I cut this frame, you know, it won't spread and move a bunch. That'll help hold us in place. And then, uh, so now I think what I'm going to do, I'll get some jack stands under it and go ahead and start cutting. And I decided that I'm going to cut the bottom rail off. Uh, because, you know, the outside, or the top of this, this is four inches. And so our, our piece won't fit in. It's going to fit under here and then stick down a little bit. So what I'm going to do, because this is pitted and rusted pretty bad, I'm going to slice this. We'll figure out where I want to go to, of course, and then I'm going to slice the bottom section off and put the new frame inside and up to here uh, on both sides. And that will uh, cover us for there. We're only coming up to about right here because it starts getting smaller. That's why I stuck this up in front. And then when we, uh, I think I'll, you know, sandblast real quick first, but when we start putting this thing back together, welded wise, all these holes right here will become plug welds from the outside and we'll just uh, weld everything up, weld every one of these holes up, weld it to the frame that's inside there and then grind it off and uh, we'll also be welded on the top and on the bottom at that lip. So it's going to be welded up really well and then we're going to transition into this frame or you know the front section and then we're like I said we're going to box it and I'll box it with uh, probably 3 8 also or 3 16 also and make it good and thick and heavy and uh, you know I think once we do that and then get the cross member welded in really well I'm gonna box in front on the horns because I I want the horns on it but I want them boxed in so that's the plan and we're fixing to get at it here. all right folks got kind of busy so I didn't get the sandblaster out here but I did get the frame rails cut and just clamped on where I want them and uh, as you can see there's about two foot of frame that goes up in that we'll be able to weld to full length we'll uh, plug weld the holes weld to full length on top and then we'll sort of mold it in and then we'll plate the inside everything else on that frame toward the front is you know good and strong it's not pitted and thin like that bottom lip was we're good there as for the back I don't have anything ground and I don't have anything squared up perfect yet, but this is what we've got. I'm happy to cut everything with a plasma cutter because I I'm out of cutoff wheels. Uh, I need a uh, blade for my bandsaw. I mean it's just everything everything is I'm out of everything. So getting low on stuff. I'm still out of oxygen. So I'm just gonna uh, just keep using the plasma and uh, until I've run out of tips I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, what we got here this is the way that I've done this a little different than you know most people are different than I've done it before but I've done that because I can get a good really good weld on it there I think that's going to help us you know hold together good uh, I can gusset it a little bit there and then I'm going to do the same thing up here this piece that runs out the back is going to be two inches higher and all it'll have is this opening here and this opening here on the bottom that I can patch over and close so this is going to come back and I got 70 inches left, so uh, it's going to come back 35 inches on each side. And I'm going to start adding some cross members in. And, uh, you know, there's a, I'll have to level this frame up and get it good and level left to right, front and back. Uh, you know, measure everything out. You know, take your time to do that because... Uh, you can't take too much time doing that because it's got to be done it's something that absolutely has to be done to get it straight and you know don't trust anything don't trust you know holes where they're drilled don't trust the fact that I've got it clamped on there you think it's gonna be perfectly you know straight on both rails that's you know it don't work out that way unfortunately that's just the way it is so you know what we'll be doing is measuring from other holes also and then we'll be uh, measuring it crossways back and forth and make sure everything's square and perfect and you know the the better you do now the the happier you'll be when you're done for sure so uh yeah i'll uh i'll have used all of that material when i add these two pieces on and then uh i've got a piece there that i can cut a cross member out of that's two before also but that's eighth inch and then i may cut this cross member out and use it 
it's a factory but I'm not sure yet exactly where the drive shaft's going to come through you know the rear end will be back here past this so we'll figure it out as we go not a big deal like I said I am using this that's why I've got to extend the frame back farther than I was going to because the center of the rear is here the spring's going to be what 10 12 inches back so we've got to have the frame at least that much longer so that leaf spring can come up and come across there so that's going to make a quick easy job on the on the rear end and then uh, the parts should be here uh, next couple days for the front end and then we can really get to rolling on this thing uh, going to be jumping on doing a bunch of welding and I'll be out of argon pretty soon I'll be out of wire pretty soon so what I'm going to do is try to go and make one big trip and get oxygen argon or unimix and uh, wire I'll get some grinding discs some cutoff wheels I'll just get everything all at one time and keep from making more than one trip and uh, don't care to make any but but it worked out good with the steel steel company you know I didn't have to get out of the truck I just moved away from the building and jumped out and strapped it down and went on so that was a, a done deal Let's see I went and looked at some cars today uh, six vehicles and I think I think everybody would like all six of them and I made an offer on all six of them and we'll see what happens uh, you know old barn finds and and uh, I guess farm finds uh, two of them's under a shed and they was under another shed uh, for years well three of them actually and then uh, three of them are out in the weather all six are neat cars or, or cars and trucks let me say and uh, so we'll see what happens on them and uh, you know I might keep one or two and sell the rest okay I figured I'd just well show you the other front end I traded for it's rough uh, springs rough uh, the wishbone we could use we can split it the axle we can probably use later uh, it was mechanical brake, but you know, had a chance to get it, so I got it. And let me see, we got a bicycle. And I think this one here, this is not worth any money whatsoever, but uh, it had a basket on the front, so I figured uh, my wife will want it to put flowers in. She's got a bunch of flowers planted, so I think we're going to find somewhere to stick it, put flowers in. But I got another bike. Okay, folks, this is actually a Western Flyer X53. It's actually, if this was a nice bike, it's a, about a five thousand dollar bike. You know, original, perfect shape, or good shape. Don't have to be perfect, but uh, forks are not right on this one. Handlebars are not right. I'm not sure what the cranking stuff is, but the frame and the tank there. But this one's probably too far gone to consider fixing, but I didn't want it to go to scrap, so I figured I'd get it and we'll hang it up or something. Maybe one day we'll run along a Western Flyer girl's bike that's got some of the parts on it that we could uh, build this back. Okay, I just got them laying together, but that'll give you an idea of what I was talking about. So, we'll get everything ground and straight and welded and all that stuff tomorrow. But it's getting there, and uh, just slow. But uh, I think once some parts come in, we'll start uh, picking up real fast and getting some stuff done. And uh, we'll start getting this frame finished up. And, Get the engine in, frame painted, uh, see if we can get a uh, body mounted and engine mounted and, you know, get rolling with it. All right. Appreciate everybody watching and until next time. Bye.